The terms warm way and cold way are used by beekeepers to describe the orientation of the frames in the hive. If you take the entrance of the colony being there, if the frames are running perpendicular to the entrance, that is considered to be the cold way because the old view was that um, during the winter, the wind would blow in the entrance up through the combs and it would be colder for the bees. The warm way, the orientation was um, parallel with the entrance and the thinking was that that wouldn't happen. In fact, it has no relevance to the uh, temperature inside the hive at all. And that has been proved um, on many occasions. It's really only square hives where it uh, applies, such as the National, where you can put it both ways and the British Commercial as well. But most of the other hives, uh, like the Smith um, or the uh, Langstroth or the Dayton, um, have got to be run if you if you buy the um, the standard equipment have got to be run the so-called uh, cold way um, now i'm going to open up this hive this is running the warm way most of what we got here at whisper green uh, runs a cold way but i want to uh, open this hive up to show you what can happen if you operate the uh, so-called uh, warm way we normally have at least 20 colonies in a teaching apiary uh, for teaching, um, only two of which we usually run the, uh, the uh, warm way. Everything else we run, to, we run the cold way. And as a result of that, um, I have uh, discovered that bees do behave a little bit differently and or in, um, organize their nest in a different way if they're running warm from cold. And I'm gonna open this colony and hopefully I can show you. Now, when I'm taking a crown board off a colony or even supers off, I generally lift in line with the frames. Now, the fact that that's a a, a, a plain front and we've got, got hand holds in the side tells me automatically that the frames are on that way. So therefore, I'm going to lift the crown board up this way. Checking on the underside for green, not on there. So put that down at the front so bees um, can come up if they if they wish. <laughs> right now, usually what happens with a small uh, colony, certainly in the winter, is that the bees will tend to cluster fairly close to the entrance uh, with their food away from them. Now, in a, uh, if it's run the uh, cold way, the bees tend to cluster and have the brood area towards the bottom, towards the front, with their food above them, which they do naturally, or because they haven't got the height that they have in the, the a colony would have in a natural nest, they put their food towards the, uh, the the back. Very rarely do we get the food at the front. If it is, it's probably because the beekeeper has done something, perhaps like turn a frame round, uh, or they've orientated them in different uh, uh, in different ways than the, the, the bees have. This colony was made up on the 30th of May as a, a two-frame nuke, and it was deliberately put the um, the uh, warm way so that what the bees have done here is what they've done this is all their own work it hasn't been um, uh, organized by us beekeepers so what I'm doing is loosening all the uh, frames so I can take all of them out right to right to the back so I'll just go down one side 
and then down the other don't go from one side to the other because you've got to put your hand over the bees okay so I'll, I'll take the end frame out first so I'll show you the, the whole lot so that seems like a little bit in it but not much it looks as if it was perhaps an old old comb but at least it's got nectar uh, in there um, that's an old food frame um, that is partly old food there with nectar here so their bees are storing their food uh at the at the back of the hive in the um uh where, where they've got space right let's frame out now we're into we've got a, a, a little patch of eggs there not um not very big So that is the back of the brood nest. So the brood nest is from the fourth frame uh, in. Now we are into the uh, brood nest. Uh, remember what bees are trying to do is to organize their nest, um, not really knowing what we're trying to uh, achieve. So I'm looking at the brood but automatically. That's fine. A couple of cells of three cells of um, uh, bald brood there. All, all the um, uh, brood that's about to get sealed is okay. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Some more bald brood here. Tendency suggests that we've got some wax moth uh, problem in, in, in the colony. This is not uncapping and recapping as um, uh, some people think. That is a different thing. So I'm satisfied already that AFB and EFB, the two notifiable diseases, aren't a, aren't a problem. <laughs> what we have got is a wasp being a little bit of a nuisance. So it's absolutely typical of uh, this time of year. But one of the things I've come across is isolation, starvation, and um, the um, uh, the reason is uh, fairly simple, and it usually only happens when you get a fairly prolonged spell of cold weather. And if I could explain here what um, uh, what I've noticed, and it's not on my colonies because I don't normally run the uh, uh, the warm way during the uh, winter, uh, the bees cluster quite tightly. The, the colder it is, the more the, the more tightly they cluster. The um, uh, the warmer it is, the more they open the, the uh, uh, cluster out. And if you get a colony like this, it usually sets itself up fairly similar to this one has. Um, brood at the front, food at the back away from the entrance which is exactly the same as bees would do if the frames were the opposite way around because if you look perhaps in october november you'll see with a frame at the bottom uh corner close to the entrance that's where the brood will be and the food will be in the rest of the comb Bees will do exactly the same if you run the frames the other way around. So what you end up with is a cluster here in the middle, maybe with brood or without brood. And let's say the cluster is this side of that frame in there. So as far as they're concerned, all the foods behind them, there's no real problem with that. If you get uh, fairly warmish weather, bees can move around, they can break cluster, they can move from one comb to another, um, 
and um, they could probably even um, go to the rest of the hive and forage within the hive and bring food back to where where they are. On occasions, they may well be able to go out and get what little winter um, of food there is from gardeners and that sort of thing. That'd probably mainly be uh, pollen. So if you get a cold spell, the cluster tightens. So you end up with food one side, food the other side, and that frame there, the midrib, is actually a barrier. Now, if you get a week or two um, really cold weather, if they eat the food above them, which they naturally will do, and they finish that up, they've got food to the side of them and they move to one side. If it stays cold, what I've found on several occasions is that um, bees won't go over even the smallest of gaps. And I have seen double brew chamber or brood and a half where bees have starved in the bottom box um, with food above them and they simply won't go over the gap between the, between, between the two boxes. So what they do is they stay over to, uh, to one side. If it's really cold, they can't get over under or round this frame here to the food that's here because there's no conduit and they can't get back over to this food here which is actually on the seams that they that they're already on so um isolation starvation is a possibility i'm not saying it's going to happen all the time it's probably really only going to happen in um in in very cold spells now you can get over that partly by putting a few holes in your combs so that the bees can go through the holes um, onto the other combs. But of course, what, what we've got a bee starving in one part of the hive with plenty of food um, in, in the rest of the hive. <laughs> now, the other issue is during the spring sometimes and we've experienced that with uh, our two colonies at Whisper Green. Very often in the spring, you get two, three, four days, or probably even a week of uh, good weather. Um, so what the bees do is they, they, they pile it in, and let's say the brood nest is in that area there, perhaps expanding in the spring. This frame here, bees usually put pollen on the edge of the uh, brood and very often what they'll do is put a pollen comb right next to the edge of the brood now bees naturally go up and down but of course in a hive they can't go down uh, or up because of the um, um, the barriers that beekeepers put there or humans put there by the floor or whatever's at the top could be a queen excluder or could be a, 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 a crown board um, they pack pollen into, let's say, that frame there. That then becomes a barrier which the queen usually won't go beyond to lay. Therefore, it retards the um, the build up of the colony. And I have seen that happen at, at Whisper Green on uh, several occasions, and that is one of the reasons that I don't uh, don't do it because uh, what we notice is those two colonies don't usually produce uh, as much honey as the others that are run the coal way. My guess is that um, it's because the colony is slightly retarded right from the, right from the spring build up. So that's why I don't particularly like the uh, warm way. If you want to run the warm way, then please, please, please do so. Um, they're your bees. Um, you, you can, uh, you can uh, do it how you like. Uh, so um, that's my take on warm and cold way. Um, I really don't think it matters uh, too much, um, but my preference is for the so-called cold way.